What's up, GK Knights? Welcome to the Grown Folks Kids Show. I'm your host, Dre Irv with the most. And uh, you know what? We're just a couple of men strong in our faith. We're raising kids. We got a bunch of kids. That's what we do, drive kids around all day long. And guess what? That makes me feel grown, because I'm grown. I feel grown. You feel grown, man? Oh, we're rolling. Play my music. Grown Folk Kids Show. Grown Folk Kids Show. Grown Folk Kids Show. A grown folks kids show. A woohoo yeah. Hey, how that sound? Oh yeah. Welcome GK Nation to the Grown Folk Kids Show. I'm Dre Urban the Savage. My main man. Well, what you gonna do, brother? Because when the power lies on the Grown Folk Kids oh, Show, yeah. and you've got the incredible Charles Brown sitting out here breaking things down Woo! for you, Woo! let's start the show. I'm ready, brother. Brother, brother. Broskis, let's do this. Hey, <laughs> well, anyways, hey, that was pretty fun, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> uh, shout outs to the late Randy Savage. All right, we got to give him some shout outs. Shout right, so, out, hey, sir. You know, uh, welcome to the Grown Folks Kids Show. You know, we're talking about four categories here, okay? You know, we're going to talk about movies, comic books, sports, entertainment. Um, you know, uh, can we talk about Kardashians again? Dude, I, I want to talk about some Kardashians. Dude, Dude, Kanye didn't come back over to the other side. Man, did you see Kanye hanging out with uh, Donald Trump? I, I, he spit some good knowledge. He did, but, but that now. some good knowledge he was spitting. But now he's come back to the other side. What other side? Oh, you haven't heard. Kanye West said that he was Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, man, that Kanye, man, I'll tell you what. We're still going to talk about those Kardashians at one point. No, we got no. a little bit of TMZ element in our show. I don't want but we're gonna keep it clean. walking around in those big slippers talking about me. <laughs> hey, I don't want it. Hey, he cannot talk Kanye. Hey, 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 hey. Make hey, the, hey, hey, no, come on. Kanye. Hey, didn't you say we don't want him to come $400 for oh, some slippers? Oh, my goodness. $400 slippers. Hey, but anyways, we coming live from Mama's basement here in Spokaloo, a.k.a. Spokane, Washington, the great North Pacific, the great Pacific Northwest. Dude, we live Woo. in my mama's basement. Okay, all right. Well, it's, uh, it's the cameraman's mama. Hey, hey, man, uh, did she make those biscuits for us, those biscuits and gravy, man? I'm hungry. Because I'm ready. You ready, for, you ready to do a show? Let's do the show. Let's do it, man. Let's, Let's kick go. it in. Hey, but uh, so listen, uh, you're going to catch this live sometimes on CMTV uh, Channel 14, okay, here at Spoka, uh, Spokaloo, Spokane, Washington. And also, too, uh, catch us live on Facebook, Grown Folks uh, Kids Show. You know, just type it in Grown Folks Kids Show because we're putting elements in all the time, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the show. So, hey, uh, are we ready to get cracking on this DC versus Marvel? We're going to hash this again. Okay, next segment. I'm ready to do this. DC versus Marvel. Oh, you got the Venom. I got the Avengers. I got no DC stuff. I'm sorry, but you know what? This is good, right? We're good. It's all right there. Bam, all right. Bam. Hey, <clears throat> listen. Y'all gonna like this one, okay? All right. We got. I got seven minutes to tear it up. You ready? Let's go. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. So, uh, by the way, Charles. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, Marvel's going to Phase Four, right? Yep. You know, they're gonna have the Eternals. Yep. Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Captain Marvel. So they say. Okay. Yeah. They don't sound very popular, does it? They don't popular characters. Okay. They don't be popular characters. You know, Iron Man's gone. Thor is gonna be gone. Captain America's gonna die. And Avengers Four. Do we know okay. this? No, we we know this. We know this man. All but right. here, but watch this. But check this out. Is this an opportunity? Opportunity. Opportunity. <clears throat> opportunity. 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 All right. This is an opportunity for. DC to make a comeback. Quote the great L.O. Cool J. Oh, been here for years. Don't call it a comeback. Well, huh? It's DC. Because, you know, I'm saying this for one reason. Mm -hmm. Because according to the test screenings that's been happening in Hollywood right now, Aquaman is getting some serious positive reviews. They're sitting there saying that James Wan and Walter Hamada, they figured it out. They got their thumbprint on it. Things have changed. The, is, the ties have changed. It's a new day happening right now. Oh, yeah? So, you What's done? Up? Are you done with your soliloquy? <laughs> I am. Man. All right, I'm sorry, Because I'm leaving DC. I had, I had to, I had DC, to take you that can from make you, a Steven. comeback. Please, DC, do something. Because you still, they still got Batman, uh, you know, Aquaman. They got the core people. Talk to me, man. Okay. Is this a comeback? Look, man, come on. 
to quote the great Chuck D. Oh, don't do Chuck D on me. You gonna do Chuck D on me? Don't believe the hype, <laughs> homie. Don't believe the hype. Oh, man, that's, that's a card. I, I put, uh, Thank you, man. put Chuck D on hey, me. Man, I'm telling you, oh, man. Oh, man, you, Chuck D. You, you can't put Chuck D on me, man. Right, don't believe the hype. Man. You know right. why? Why? What's up? Because there's no consistency, no stability. Oh, the great Aquaman movie is gonna save us all. I heard that one before. Yeah, when, right, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me get some of this action here, man. Here we go. It's yeah. gonna save us. You bet. You, you bet. Think? You bet. Drink it more. Yeah. They said that about Y2J too. Sorry, Chris. But um, what's up? There's no stability, man. Why not? Okay. Okay. What's up? Take Nolan's films out of the way. Do that. But you got to because it's not part oh, of the, the best film system. Planet, what? It's not part of the system. Okay, okay, okay. So you got okay. Man of Steel. Right. Decent movie. We've gone through this before, but right. I'll ash it off. Man of Steel. Right. Decent movie. Okay. Mm, then what did you get? Oh, uh, you got Batman vs. Superman. Trash. Yeah. Yeah, trash. Okay, then what they, was next? I mean, the story they're writing. I mean, what? why would you put three stories into one movie just to bum rush? You know, why, man? But, but okay, keep going, keep going. And then, and oh, then what so, happened? So what? Then they, then they, they, they jumped on the train. Okay. The Patty Jenkins train. Patty Jenkins train. She made okay. that Wonder Woman movie. She, I, man, that Wonder Woman and was brilliant. It was, yes, it was brilliant. It was good, man. Yeah. It, it, the, the Patty Jenkins movie. The Patty Jenkins. Look, right. Patty Jenkins. Yeah. If you could do all the movies, I might stay. Well, well hold on. She can't do all, man. Because I'm telling you, man. Listen, it was. I was. I was doing some research. What came after Wonder Woman? And they said that James Wan. Movie. This movie's so good that they're gonna want him to do all the other movies. Just give him all the movies. Well, you know, James Wan did pretty well. You know, the Fast and Furious. I was pretty good. Okay. Movie. And you know, so, what, what happened after Wonder Woman? What happened after Wonder Woman? Mm -hmm. It was that awesome, most beautiful movie called The Justice League. Dude, you're gonna make me feel. <laughs> <up and down. laughs> hey, that movie was hardcore. It was awesome. It was hardcore. It was awesome. Who was? Who it was, was so great. Who was the villain? Man. The who's, villain, who's the villain? The, uh, Mr. Hammerman. You don't even Mr. Hammerman. You don't even know Mr. his name. Mr. Franken Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you uh, had Justice League. Uh, 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 Stefan the Wolfenstein. Oh, okay. yeah. So you had Justice League. Right. And then you had. That's not even on the same level. Justice League is not on the same level. So the greatest team mm -hmm. ever compiled mm -hmm. on a comic book platform. Mm -hmm. The greatest team ever assembled yep. in any type of literature. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's, you're, you're not, here's you're, my you're, thing. You're killing me. But listen, listen. The question is, though, is this. Would DC still have his top characters? They still got some more Batman. They still got some more Flash. They got Green Lantern core. They got all this stuff. Why Marvel's already passed their core peoples, OK? Uh, I think the solo movies can be a chance for DC to make a comeback here because you know they did. Walter Martin is pretty good. You know he knows what he's doing. I think it, you know I think they might have found a winning formula. I mean I have to believe a little bit of hype. Hmm? Come on, come on, Charles. Jump on the train, man. Jump on that DC uh, motivation train. Come on, man. Come on. You used to be a comic book writer. Come on. Talk to him. Artist, not I. Am. Oh, no, artist. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but mm -hmm. let's let's put it this way. Right. What's up? You have the TV show. Okay, all right. No, 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 let me finish. Yeah, I like that. Come Listen, on. You got Come the on. TV show. Yeah. You got the continuing DCU. Yeah. And now you got solo films. So that's three topical entities that just Warner Brothers oh, man. is doing. Oh. So you're telling me that we're going to have four Jokers. Oh, yeah, I know. In this movie. Okay, all right. So, so people are going to get. Mad. So you think you're people right. are going to get up, big, get confused? I'm so. You oh, know what? so we got Jay Leto. We I'm got the train. this guy. I'm done. You're Jack right. Nicholson. You're right. You're right. We're going to keep going. All right, man. You know what? Even though we got to wrap this up here oh, in a second. Uh, you know what? But, uh, you know, listen, I'm off the train now. You just, you just, you're right. I mean, I, DC, use the TV people that you got on TV but, already, but, but you we, can catch up because you, you're you killing it in TV. Well, now we're going to have the TV universe, the DC East, DCEU universe, and now we're going to have solo movies outside the DCEU universe? What's wrong with you people over there? Marvel, everything's connected to Marvel, Netflix, TV shows. It's like a big comic book. What do you think? Go ahead and wrap it up. The biggest problem that you're, you're missing is that Marvel 
has been consistent. Even though they're bringing in new heroes that nobody knows. Now, come on, guys. Y'all know y'all didn't know who Guardians of the Galaxy is. Now, there's some sweaty nerds out there that knew. <laughs> but y'all didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know. So you're telling me that they made a raccoon be a household name. And you're worried about Captain America and Iron Man and all of them leaving. None of y'all knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy was. I sure did. All right. Sure so, did. so you're telling me when we start and they bring in Captain Marvel and oh, I forgot. Hmm. Didn't they get X Men back and Fantastic uh -oh, Four that's new, and all of that? That's going to so, have to be another segment because so, so we're going to talk about that. Are you that seriously one saying yeah. that uh -huh. DC is going to step up? Because now we're going to get a good Fantastic Four movie. Hey, Charles. Charles. Wait a minute. You, you, hey, am Charles. I going too deep for you? Oh, is that your time? You so lucky. <laughs> you so lucky. Yeah. Hey, get your stuff together, DC. We'll we'll see the Rock's eyebrow on you right there. I have never felt this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, G Nation. Now it's time to get somewhat serious. And since I'm the third most interesting man in the world, like I said in the last show, you know, I got a lot of, you know, interestability. It's my phonics word. I just made that up, by the way. Interestability. Interestability. I'm going to make a t-shirt that says that. Don't copyright it. That's mine. That's mine. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, since I'm the most interesting man in the world, we're about to talk about the ladies here. All you right. know what I'm saying? So I got to be smooth like Billy so D. Ladies. I'm Billy Dean style mm -hmm. right now. It's Billy D. Okay, this is, about, this is for, this is for <clears> you <throat> women out there. All right? Okay. All right, you ready to talk about this? Dude. Is that, is that close? L ladies. My Billy Dean, is my, is, is my Billy Dean on point? Lando. Okay, right, let's, no, that's not on point. Let's right. get it go, Lando. Yeah, Come, on, Lando. Oh, Come on, Lando. Come on, Lando. Like I said, I'm the third most interesting man in the world. I still got to work my way up the rankings. Okay, all right, here. Yep, let's go. Go on the timer. Disclaimer. Last week, I said uh, Thunder. I said the wrong name What's that? for Native American. Oh, it's yeah. Thunderbird. It's Thunderbird. It's Thunderbird and Warpath. And Warpath. Were the, were the uh, Native American X-Men. All right. All right. right we I would love it. to see that on a big screen. All right. Now, we'll go back to that. Watch our last show, uh, first episode on that. And you're going to love it. All right. So, I'm going right. to get serious. Because this is a good topic. This is for the women out there, okay? Okay. All right. Because, you know, listen. You know, with, with the current, you know, the movement, the current women movement, the power, the empowerment of women right now, are getting into high positions, you know, directing positions. Um, they're getting a piece of that pie at the table, sports, movies, entertainment, with this with this movement going on right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, my question to you is, is this going to be sustainable? You know, are we finally moving forward? Because here's here's my analogy. You know, the train is moving. Everyone likes to get on that. What's popular? What's 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 going on right now? Train. And then when that train kind of just stops, everyone gets off the train and go on home to, you know, their little towns and going back into their houses. Mm -hmm. Okay. The movement stops. So I'm asking you, is this sustainable? Is this going to get back to normal? Or do we have, we finally went forward, turned the corner, with women finally getting some dude allowed to be in power positions. I'm asking, is it sustainable? What do you think, sir? Hmm, go ahead, partner. Partner. It's sustainable. How? Because women are capable of doing it. They've been doing it for the longest time. I just think what happened is it's been overlooked. Hmm. Women have been doing this. So right. you so you've had women right. in sports right. who have been dominant. Right. We forget mm -hmm. you got Mary Lou Retton mm -hmm. back in the day. You know, you had uh um, women always had flashes of dominance. Well, well no, right. but they they right. were they are always dominant. Right. I mean if you look at the Olympics, women have always the American women have always dominated in right. sports in right. the in the Olympics. Right. So it's not that it's not possible. Right. Um there's always been star uh role characters for women. But and, it's and movie. It's sustainable you because think, they're capable you think, you of think doing women it. Can handle it. Man, look at Meryl Streep. How many Oscars does she have? Mm -hmm. I, I, you don't even have to answer that. But it's capable. Okay. They're capable of doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the biggest problem is what, what's that? Is there going to be? Well, it's not the biggest, but it's one of them. Okay. Okay. What's, it's, what's, it's not the biggest, but it's one of them. Okay. Talk to me. Talk to me. I don't think that. I think that we need to have more men put more faith in these women. Oh, Instead of forcing it on us, that's a good point. just have faith that they can do this. I mean, take Triple H. Okay, I know. Oh, you bought it. You bought it. You bought no. it. You bought to tap into that uh, 
evolution. Yeah. So, right? so take Triple H. All right, we, all right, all right. We, we credit Stephanie McMahon. Right, right. Right. We credit Stephanie McMahon for mm -hmm. the, the women's movement and right. which she has. She has supported it. Mm -hmm. She has supported it very much. Mm -hmm. So, but my thing is, is that on the background, mm -hmm. Triple H mm -hmm. has uh, been the one molding and shaping these women to come out in the forefront with the NXT movement. Mm -hmm. And then it's gone full circle where they've gone from headlining a uh, indie show. Right. To headlining a Raw and SmackDown, mm -hmm. to headlining a pay per view, to having their own pay per view. You know, th and th listen, this is, you know, that is a big thing because when all women's wrestling pay per view, no one ever thought that was going to ever happen. And it was good. It was good. They had maybe one match that wasn't good and yeah. it was still nostalgically good. So it was but, good all the way around. Well, here's the thing. So if men in higher positions, which we do are in higher positions, you know, mm -hmm. there's men running. it. Right. So um, if like Triple H, if they uh, invest into these women, exactly. okay, because like the WNBA is the same thing, right? Because it's ran by the NBA, right. the male dominant league, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And so for those out there uh, you don't uh, that don't know that um, recently, the WNBA players opt out of the CBA, the collective bargaining agreement. Okay, they're like, listen, we need better facilities, we need, we need, uh, we need better travel, we need higher pay. Yeah, I got some stats for you, by okay. the way. Okay, okay. So, so, me. so the medium uh, pay that the WNBA players make is seventy-one thousand ducats, right? Is that the that's the the medium? That's the medium. Now watch, watch, watch this though. 71, 71, did you know that? I mean, that's and, a lot of money for and, me. Well, that's but, a lot of money yeah, for us, but, yeah. but, but listen, you play in professional basketball, so right. when they go to Europe, mm -hmm. they start off at $100,000. In Europe? In Europe. You, they go to Europe, because they have to play year round. They got to play summer in here, mm -hmm. in America, and then they got to go overseas in Europe mm -hmm. in the winter time, right? Right. Okay, all right. So uh, the NBA minimum is 582 ducats. Okay. Men, men. I mean, bench player sitting. Hey guys, you want some? Hey, you, uh, you guys want some water? Here you go. I'm making five hundred eighty-two thousand dollars. I'll be your water boy. I get in with the crunch of the garbage time. Okay. That's how I'm, okay. okay. So now the highest it caps out. The WNBA caps out one hundred and ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now they uh, um, they backed out of the uh, collective bargaining agreement. Okay. And, and here's the thing: the the, the NBA, you know, um, the commissioner, he wants to work with the ladies to get that money right, right. so uh, I believe that they should at least get somewhat equal pay almost equal you can't do it's not gonna be equal because here's the thing here's my third quote here's my third part and we got to finish it mm -hmm. it's the third part uh -oh. women don't really support their own sports though they don't because the ratings prove that matter of fact my daughter's got to wear Steph Curry jerseys, but she's, they don't, she's not wearing Sue Storm or I mean, Seattle, uh, uh, Sue Bird or, or you know, uh, Candace Parker jerseys and all that. Then the NBA, the WNBA, and that's what the WNBA wants to do. They want to push uh, their product out, but women don't, they seem to like wrestling. They want to watch male wrestlers. I mean, what's the deal? <sighs> that's, that's rough. But that, that's a, that's a... You think women can, what can women do? But I think, I think that that goes to the long standing of mm -hmm. when we grew up, All the right. only time you saw women athletes uh -huh. were in the Olympics or college. Okay. Now, so WNBA basketball should be just as popular as college basketball. It should be. Because there's women college basketball uh -huh. and people go all out for women college basketball. But so, there's uh, no, uh -huh. there's no, uh, what's up? What's the word I'm looking for? There's nothing in for you to be in for a woman's basketball team. Mm -hmm. There's, there's. So us men need to work harder and put more interest in watching women's sports and support the women so that they can actually Well, thrive. I think the men are the, the main support. Well, it's true. But it's then true. you also, but you also got it that there, there, there are men, uh -huh. there are men and uh -huh. women who uh -huh. look at the sports and say, well, it's not as fast or it's not as physical mm. or it's not as, you know, they're not as athletic as what I'm used right. to watching. So but you watch that, you watch that, uh, 
that uh female football league. Ooh, man, that those was girls awesome. hit. Man, I was watching the Boston Breakers was the L.A. Renegade or something like that. I don't know what. It, no, what's the man Boston? that lingerie Boston league? Something. Y'all think it's a joke? Those girls. Oh, you talking about? The, I'm talking about the taco one. The, the lingerie league is a top man. You no, ain't no, no, see? No, no, no. They have another one that's even oh, like, like do? full out pads. Those, yeah, those that's girls, the, that's the lingerie wild. league now. They all listen, out. I'll support it. Hey, so you know what? We just opened the door for discussion. We'll come back to it, you know, some other time. I just want to put a little thought out there because women, you know, you gotta need by, the support. Support your stuff. Lead support by example. Stuff, it's, it's the time right now. This is your time. Lead by example. Go support it. I'm down. That was good. That was good. You knocked it out. All right. Yeah, we know women. We know women. Bam. Bam. Penetrate powers activate. <laughs>
put out anybody that became a music superstar out of that. Did you know that only America? No, The Voice is the only one that hasn't put out anybody. Now, AGTV, AGTV, uh, America's Got Talent, uh, they had this, some, uh, what's that uh, ventriloquist? What's his name? Uh, Terry, uh, fat, fat, I can never say his name, Factor, right. whatever. Mm -hmm. That man's making 125 uh, million dollars at the Mirage, right? And they, so they yeah. put out those type of talents, um, but they have no, they didn't really put anybody that really blew up, right? Mm -hmm. And The Voice has not yet put anybody out there as music superstars. Why is, what's the problem? You think, wait a minute, hold on. Do you think today's industry, music industry, is mature enough? Because uh, to me, it feels like the show is one thing, but the listening public is different. What do, you, what do you think? Here's the deal. We gotta get on this one. We. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to hurt a lot of millennials' feelings. Oh, oh, come on. Let's let's go get these millennials. We're 99. We're X generation, by the way. Go ahead. The music. All right. So we as a America consumer, because this mm -hmm. is what we're doing. We're consuming this. Right. We're consuming great talent. Right. Mm -hmm. And we love it mm -hmm. at home. Right. But we're not going, you're not going to go buy this in the store. That's what it is. Because it's because what, what, it what happens is is mm -hmm. all of these shows, right. except for America's Got Talent, they, right. they cater to a, a bigger, a bigger broad span of talent. Right. But these musical shows, right. they're they're still holding the great R and B country hip-hop singers stuff that was good in the right. mid 2000s but that's not what's selling now no because so they're, not... they're making music for these titty boppers everything's deaf oh do you love me do you hate me oh i can't live without you oh, i can't oh, oh i can't this i can't survive because of my emotions we got men who can't even handle their emotions anymore but man, listen, it's, it's dark music it's like i don't think the general public is mature like the maturity level is not there. So if the TV says this, the show says this, the, the download says this. People download totally different things. So I'm at the schools. They ain't listen to none of Easy McKinney or James. They don't listen to the last two winners of the before, you know, James Graham or anything like that. They're going to listen to Little Pump. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, Waka Flocka. No, well, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Walk is cool. Hold up, yeah, because uh, I'm gonna say, man, uh, we, we well, don't listen. Uh, listen, I walk, walk. Give me, give me a weird name. Uh, 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 uh little. Uh, uh, no, not why not try? You know. Or, or, <laughs> why or, not try? Or, man, look, uh, mumble, bones. mumble rap and mumble. And, and, man, that's yo, that's, yo. It sound like sound like Rocky trying to rap. Hey, yo, oh no 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 no. Uh, sound like Razor Ramon trying to rap. Hey yo. hey yo, I'm from the streets. You okay, know. look, man. Look, Adrian, let's, yo. Not, let's not hey, have Adrian. these guys come oh, down. Oh, on us, man. Let's not have these hey, guys listen, come down. Music, on let's, let's just do something. Let's figure out how to get this stuff from these TV shows out properly to the mainstream, right? Well, no, well, you gotta figure Look at it. Right. The music that my mother and father listen to, mm -hmm. I listen to. Yeah. The music that I listen to mm -hmm. is based off of the music that my mother and father used to listen to. The music that my mother right. and father used to listen to uh -huh. was based off the music that their parents listened to. Now, we always go through a cycle mm -hmm. of there's music that we don't listen to. Right. You got the 20s with the little doo-wop and the, and the barbershop. Right. You know, and then you got the 50s where right. they were transitioning. Mm -hmm. Now we got mumble rap. Mumble rap. And, and so I can't a, see so that a, when my kids uh -huh. get to be my age oh and my they gosh. hear so anyways, uh, do you love me? Are you riding? No, uh, you're not gonna be like, that was my jam! Ain't nobody that doing that. Was the, 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 two years as a chef like today's music, so we're gonna end it on that mumble rap. You're gonna be the mainstream thing for people gonna remember in 2040. Eminem, just diss them all. Kill everyone's career, homie. Kill it all! GK Nation, what's going on? Check it out. Top seven. That's right. I know some of y'all don't do this, but it was put up, voted in, and this is what we gotta do. So today, I'm throwing out the top sevens to you again. Top seven energy drink. Don't get me wrong. I know some of y'all like your five hour for your quick fix. Y'all like to pop the Gatorade, or even if you wanna put out there and do one of those Everlast. Poco Locos. I don't know. It is what it is. Hey, welcome back. You know, this has been a great show. Now we got top you know seven. No, you what? know what? What's up? We're going to take it back for a second. 
Mm-hmm. Just a little disclaimer. Discla- Another disclaimer? Disclaimer, man. Okay, Puff, Puff Daddy. What? We're gonna give Puff Daddy a little what bit of props. Just Puff a little Daddy. bit. Oh, Sean Penn Making the band. Oh man, making we forgot band. about we forgot that. making the band. He was the one who was. What's that on MTV? We was, what was it? What it was, was that on? It was an MTV yeah. thing. But he 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 did the oh, whole thing. Man. He did it before America's Got Talent. Man. I mean, or or uh, yeah. yeah. All so, right, so we'll, we'll, we'll Puff Daddy. Pat, uh, you you get a love. thumbs up. Thumbs up, man. My our bad. Our bad. Okay, but here top sevens. Uh, top seven energy drinks. Boom, right there on the screen behind us is all those energy drinks, okay? We're gonna talk about top seven energy drinks, okay? You ready for it? Let's go. Let's go. Guess who's number one on the, in the market? Water. Uh, do you get energy from water? I do. Who drinks water? Uh, I do. No one drinks water. Gatorade? Gatorade? Man, okay, okay right, come right, in right, top right, seven. Water. He's a, okay, uh, uh, H2O, you know, whatever. Overachieving water you get at the stores, right? The overachieving, all right, whatever. Uh, Red Bull. That, that's okay. You get the guns. Okay, water, water. All right, Red Bull, forty-three percent. Red Bull, forty-three percent of the market. I thought Red Bull would be down on the list there. I thought Red Bull was a beer. Forty-three percent, man. <laughs> All right, uh, no, uh, number two, Monster. Monster. Call him a monster. Yeah, man, them things, boy. Them things. You drink too many of them things, you going to the hospital. Carnitine, carotene. You're making my point. Come on, let's you go. Know, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know they got stuff like awana and ginseng grapeseed and all that stuff. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Next one. Okay. Rockstar. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, all right, all right. They have ten percent of the market share. All right, and then here's one you might like. Oh, because you're a gamer. Yeah, I'm a gamer. You got it. You yeah. like comic books? I love comic books. What about amp? Guess who makes amp? Mountain Dew, I know. You drink a lot of Mountain Dew, don't you? No. Well, how, what? It's not good for you. How are you a gamer you don't drink Mountain Dew? It's not good for Man, you. Man, they're out there right now falling in their chairs right now. One they Mountain fall- Dew a year, homie. Oh my gosh. And that's this guy's- One Mountain Dew a year. You're the only gaming guy that drinks nothing but water. All right, all right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, water. Mountain- you don't drink Mountain Dew? No. Nope. Unbelievable. All right, here's the next one. Here's the next one. Uh, Zip Fizz. Zip. You got kids? You go to Costco, don't you? Yeah, but my kids don't drink that. Man, come on. What is a Zip Fizz? For all you Costco dads out there, we know about some Zip Fizz. You know, Zip Fizz? I've never seen Zip, Zip Fizz in, in, in a grocery store. store. Man, all right, all right. Here's, here's another one. Here's another one. Right, and this one's kind of like the underground rapper that tours cities, but they're just as famous as the big guys. Who, Tech Nine? Yeah, like Tech Nine. Shout E-40, out to Tech Nine. All those type of people, right? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Spark. Avocare Spark. I ain't talking about the drink alcohol spark. <laughs> no, I was spark. like, hold on. <laughs> no, uh, okay. Avocare Spark is Avocare. healthy. Yeah, healthy. Okay. Oh, that's that stuff people be peddling to you. Yeah, they be going to your door and selling. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. And since, uh, so that's seven, okay. Uh, oh, here's another thing. I've got some honorable mentions. Here's another thing. Okay. The new kid on the block, bang. What is it? <laughs> It gives you the, it gives you bang when you drink it. Your cognitive gets oh, to work. Oh, bang, bang, right. Oh, your cognitive gets to work. Oh, okay. And you can do your studies, do your homework. You, you know, you can just feel, you can feel the wisdom pouring through your. It's all over your brain. It makes you alert. It doesn't give you that crack feel though, because you know that's what monster do. It's like liquid crack. It's crack, crack, crack cocaine. Crack, crack cheap, right? So it's monster, right? So just put a little crack in that bad boy, right? All right, all right, okay. all right. And you know, since we, okay, and since we gotta wrap this up, here's another one, here's another one. You ever heard of Yorba tea? Something tea? <laughs> Yorba. Yorba tea? Yorba tea. Is it regular tea? It's, 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 it's your beliefs that okay. gives you natural, organic energy. Oh, so it's like just regular tea? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, those rock stars do come in organic. Uh, you can get sugar-free. Uh, rock stars are sugar-free. Sugar free. So in closing this, why uh, only um, why only water is your energy, man? You really? okay? As you don't drink. Is. That's it. Water. What, what did they drink? What, what did the Vikings drink besides mead? <laughs> Do you whip out Vikings on me? Oh, forget it, man. Who cares? <laughs> I'm trying to say, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did the Zulu nation, the Shaka Zulu, you did when he exactly. went out there to fight Shaka Zulu? They you drink know? water. Ugh. All right. You know? All right. Powder Mufasa. Let's go. <laughs> Mufasa. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. It is time 
Let me pick up my papers. You're making me mad from all that water talk. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. It's time for the 32nd rant. Rant time. Ooh, Ross. Well, sound Let's off. Let's get it going. Let's do it. All right. All right. You ready? This, this is the section where we are going to tell people how we feel about stuff. Right from the dome. Right from the dome. Get it. Today, we usually don't give you the date, but today is November 10th. Mm -hmm. 243 years today, yep. the United States Marine Corps went in Right on. It was born in a bar. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Marines. Salute to our heroes. Let's keep it going. The great Gunny salutes you. So, uh, from a former Marine himself. No such thing as a former Marine. We're gonna cut that out. You cut that out? All right, let's. What are you ranting about? Oh, I like that. I like that. What I'm ranting about? Yeah, what are you ranting about? What I'm ranting about? Yeah. Since we're going political. Right? Let's go Since political. we're going political. Since Sorry. we're going America. Since we're doing America. I wanna say this. You know, we just had voting season, right? So you just mentioned the date, right? November 10th. Mm -hmm. okay. Good job, America, going out there and voting. Okay. All right. I just like a, I want the voting seasons to be about unifying. You know, us, we know a lot of people, you know, pay the cost for us to go out and vote. You see what I'm saying? So my rant is this. Let's keep things clean. Let's be unified left and right. You know, I'm a moderate. I'm the either or. You know, and you know, I congratulate you guys going out there voting because this is an important time in our life right now. And I salute that. Good job on the voting, people. So. Wasn't that awesome away? It's awesome. That was a good show. You ready to go? You had a good show? I had a good show, man. I'm ready to do another show. Let's do it right now. I got laundry to do. Oh, yeah, I forgot you domesticated. Yeah. That's a domesticated man right there. All right. You got laundry to do. Why yeah, I got laundry to do. Let's Clean your own Let's drawers. Go. Let's go. Clean your own drawers. <laughs> okay, hey, listen. Uh, thank you for tuning into our show. Okay, you can check us live. Um, or live, or you can check us out on uh, YouTube at Grown Folks uh, Kids Show on YouTube and also on Facebook. You can check us out on Grown Folks Kids Show on Facebook. Any last things you want to say, man? You ready? Peace, love, and hair grease. See ya. Peace out. Grown Folks Kids Show. Grown Folks Kids Show. Grown Folks Kids Show. A Grown Folks Kids Show. Oh, woohoo, yeah. Hey, that's a...